Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to another Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as a Golden Horde in our campaign we have entitled Rights of Horse. Let's move Saeed up here. Okay, what were our generals? Nice, we got a Yadigar Muhammad. Okay, this guy, we're going to move back over to the Indian region. Um, he clearly isn't needed. Okay. Why don't we move all of these guys to Kai? Well, I can't support everyone, so I guess we'll split them in half. Yeah, that'll work for us. Okay. Only one suffering attrition is this one. Nice. Okay, so I don't know where they're... Oh, their capital's up here, so we already have it captured. Our subjects for helping us out. Send these guys over just in case they move. You can never guarantee that your subjects are going to do what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, it looks like the only thing that they have is that fleet and some armies down in here. I guess this answered the question of what Austria wanted. They wanted to cry Greece and a little bit down here. Okay, Suez. Oh, they got an army over there. Let's see if we can reach. We cannot. That's okay. We need to occupy everything. <laughs> We've got all the war score we could use. I just need room inside of our country for all this. Oh. Okay. I think I'm going to start busting down these forts. Because there's just not going to be much left of the Ottomans. We'll leave a few of the forts in place.
Okay, 58k, that's still this army. Just move them all here to central Anatolia. And wait for the opportunity to start an X again. So we could start another war if we wanted to, but um, I'm probably going to take everything that they have, burn it, and then release some of the stuff when I see how much I actually need to release. Okay, so this army we can move back to India. Okay, um, the, the tribes, that's fine. Wow, for the first time we don't actually have had a balanced attack. Oh, I'm gonna leave those guys alone. So let's set our subject's attitude to um, defensive. Okay, let's split ourselves up between these two provinces. Okay. I don't want to leave the Ottomans with too much down here, so I might take the forts. So I'd be afraid that these rebels couldn't actually take those forts. We gotta make some room first. No, we're not going to be in this war for two years, I don't think. This stuff will be done in June, and then we'll peace out. Four tribes, four tribes. Now it's only going to be a, a thousand guys over... Some sort of province down here. This province. Okay. Reform staff riflers. Sure. Oh, the other men do have troops down here. Okay, let's kill them. Use of extension. They have no idea what we're planning, apparently. <laughs> That's a ridiculous suggestion. Okay, so now we could course Setsu. Forward, even if alone. Hmm. 
Okay, come on, keep going, keep going. And one more. There we are. Okay, almost everything's done except for Kyoto, but that one we're not going to wait on. Maybe I should reduce Ottomans to just their Egyptian holdings, but I do want to break those forts. And obviously I can't take this stuff on the islands very easily either. Oh, we'll take a look at what the peace deal can look like. We're getting a lot of war exhaustion each month. I think you're doing that. Okay. Let's send them a peace deal. They want peace, we'll give them peace. We want that province, definitely. And why don't we take that fort? Money do you have? Okay. Can we get up here to their other fort? We can. And we'll just return those once we're done. And we're not going to be able to take any of the islands, but we're not interested in the islands. Let's we take Cairo from them. All right. I think that's a pretty good peace deal. I can't complain about that. Okay, so start by destroying everything, raising everything, destroying the forts. Yeah, I don't think we need this fort any longer. Or that one. Let's go ahead and give that to our tribes. It's already at 50% autonomy, so that's pretty perfectly an example of what the tribe should be getting. Okay, let's see how much overextended we are. And we're going to burn that down. Okay, let's return that to the Mamlokes. Turn that to the Mamlokes. Don't want that either. Okay, 128 still. 112. Okay, we haven't cored this, so let's hand that back.
We can give back Gaza. No, that's to the Ottomans. We're not giving anything back to the Ottomans. And this is a core province. Okay. So we'll see where we're at. 109. So this is about to finish coring. We'll just hold out. So let's get rid of this fort as well, leaving us only with that fort. As far as I can tell. Um, or hold on to our cash. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We should have um, rivaled Ottomans right before we did that. Mission embargo. Yeah, we've gotten so much power projection for doing that to a rival. Minor inconvenience. Minor inconvenience. No. Good try, though. Okay, come on, finish scoring. How long do we have to wait? July. Hopefully we won't take any stab hits or anything like that. And let's see if we can add any more accepted cultures. Nope. Let's get these guys down to the south and park these guys in Gaza. Let's now tell our subjects to set, set their own focuses. Yeah, the Ottomans lost all of that area down here. Okay, Nablus, yeah. On Kyoto, hurry up. I really want to look at the scores here and see um, who's ahead of us. Wow. I guess it's because it took us a while to steamball into this strength. All right, 1.6 to go. All right, then. Let's prioritize the ones cause over extension at the top. I've only got 28 years left in game. So let's get to work on starting to annex some people. The rural marriage there. Just make them as loyal as we can. Other, oh, yeah, weird government form of some sort. Okay, so let's next them. Let's next them. And let's improve relations with them in preparation to annex them. Okay. Keep coring, and we can pull 
this guy back from Genoa. Our relations there are pretty solid. Okay, 20 minutes in, what can we do with the next 10 minutes in this video? I'm thinking war. <laughs> Who could we invade? Um, yeah, Lin Zhang. Oh, they became a subject. Okay, we already took a Japan, and we can't see these guys up there. They're going to survive the rest of the game. We just don't have any way to spot them. Uh, we could probably conquering some stuff over there, but that doesn't really interest me. Um, Andra. Okay, in March we can invade them, so that's probably our next target. Let's get this guy. Okay. Yeah, these guys should all be disappearing. If anyone else allies them in the next month, then we'll just have more people to annex. Imperialism, sure. Nice. Okay. To there, to there. There and to there. I think we'll just take this personally. Yeah, we've got to make some room for them, though. Well, those are big rebel stacks, but it's not going to help them at all. Good night. Well, they didn't even capture either of those provinces before we killed them. Well, let's go ahead and raise some more taxes here. Because we're ahead of time. Way ahead of time. And I think we really need better relations for time. Let's go for this guy instead. For faster integration of vassals. Gonna prioritize this stuff because it actually contributes to overextension. This stuff doesn't. Okay, I don't know how much we're gonna need here. We got room for 9.2, so let's just get a rough estimate. Estimate. I almost said like estimate. Okay, we need about 30 worth once we burn it.
Here we can invade VJ in a couple of years. About a year and nine months. Here we basically left Europe alone. That was largely from allying the Commonwealth. And of course, we would need a couple more provinces if we were really going for for the Great Khan. We would need these three and this one. So we're four provinces short of it. Obviously, we could get them if we really wanted to. But they already have the achievement, obviously. So we're just going to enjoy the fact... Do we want to kill that heir? It seemed like we wanted to kill him. Um... Yeah, I don't really care about him one way or another. I'm not going to spend money. So I think um, my goal for playing as Delhi and trying to show people how to play is not to blob like crazy, but actually um, try to be rich. Because our nation was so poor for such a long time. That'd just be a fun change to actually have enough money to just throw it around at whatever we want. I should start thinking about that because we only have 26 years left here. Okay, now we've got room for 20. We need around 30 to be safe. Okay, so everything is cored or coring. Yeah, let me just take a second to think about who else we need to conquer. We need to conquer Andra, VJ. Um, I think I'm going to leave everyone else in Africa alone. Really don't need anyone in Europe. We could potentially attack Mamluks in a couple of years. There's some Ottoman separatists. So let's move to the border here. We'll just get the money. Um, we could attack Cyprus, but I don't have too strong of feelings about it. So yeah, mostly India, and we could see if we can take something else over in here. And that's probably going to be the last of our game. We could pick up the pace and conquer a lot more. Okay, I think we can absorb them now. I forgot to cancel, cancel all of their cores for the, for the peace deal. Fumbling for words here. Okay, so we're at 102, but I think that was before we burned stuff. Had to have been. We'll see as the new year ticks around. No, Yadiger. Okay, one queen attack. Um, September we can attack VJ. So I think that's going to be our next target. Uh, 
uh, how well those new tradition support the tribes and defy the tribes hundred army tradition good stuff let's pay off these loans and hopefully we'll never have to pay, take another loan the rest of the game Uh, we're annexing both of them. We're not yet annexing Dov yet. So let's um, influence them. Shouldn't take too much money. And we'll start integrating them in as well. So 1807, if we have sufficient diplo points which will probably run out. So that is a lot of the Diplo points. Okay, Saeed we don't need over there. So let's put him in charge of an army down here. We only have two generals? We do. Yeah, but we've got a nice size conate stretching from Finland and the Baltic state down to the Caucasus and Anatolia, down throughout Arabia and to basically all of East Africa, Northern India, all of the steppe, Eurasian steppe, but from Siberia that's uncolonized, but we'll claim that as ours anyway. That's just non-colored in wasteland as far as I'm concerned. Have Persia, the um, Bengal Basin, all of China, Japan. It's a, it's a pretty nice colony. Not World Conquest colony, but I think Golden Horde is a, is a little rough to do that uh, in this current patch. This isn't 1.14 or 1.15, anything like that. Yeah, 1.14, I did a one um, tag with Kazan for one faith, which was pretty fun. And with my fiance, we take took turns doing a sort of hot seat on her account um, as Crimea, when a Catholic Crimea. Um, for her one faith, which was easier um, to do that. She didn't have to one tag it. Oh, no child can be gone. They just give us a 103. Are you kidding me? I think he wants to be a general. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, VJ. Let's see how long this video has been going on. Uh, 34 minutes. I think I am going to stop it there and finish this off tomorrow because we got... Oh. Yeah, I, I think I really should. Just order our troops into their appropriate places. Loss of piety, loss of stability. Yeah, that's that's a pain. Okay, and we are going to raise war taxes just because we're so far ahead of time and we're not working on any um, ideas any longer, any military ideas. It is. 
Okay, so thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please consider liking the video and or subscribing to my channel.